Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be going on a shop with me trip to the Michael Kors retail boutique. And surprisingly, they may or may not have had a couple handbag styles that I now have my eye on. But before we hop into today's Michael Kors shop with me, if you guys love Michael Kors handbags, hauls, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button, as it does help me know you enjoy today's video, and it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Today. Oh my god, what is that? So let's start to look at the first little showcase within the boutique itself at Michael Kors. And we got some of the monogram. The Michael Kors monogram. Looking at this bag. This is the bag I had mentioned in the beginning of the video being on my watch list. This is sickening. The quality is similar to my Michael Kors Bedford or Medium Sullivan, and it's not bad. It really isn't, and it's cute, and it looks cute on me. I would love this as, like, a little top handle slash, like, crossbody. Let's open this precious thing up. $458, and it is called the Elliot. Uh, 458 a little expensive. So this is technically more than my Michael Kors Bedford travel satchel. So that's kind of shocking. But, you know, with price increases and everything, you can't be too shocked at that. It's still sickening nonetheless. And it it's really cute. I'm vibing with this a lot. Like, if I had the money to walk out of the store with this right now, it would have been in my bag. They also had a pink vanilla colored. So like vanilla with pink monogramming or, you know, uh, pink with vanilla. However, I don't care. But it's also cute. It's also quite cute. Very spring colors, you know. I prefer the brown one, but this is also a nice little option. I noticed online they have a couple different color, color schemes. So that'll be interesting to see in person when they release. <laughs> And then next up, we have the Avril, the Outlet Turned Retail Bag. And, oh, seeing this in the retail version is so much nicer than its Outlet counterpart or older Outlet counterpart. This thing feels so much nicer, and I'm pretty sure this is real leather. The old Avril, I don't believe it was. Like, I think it was faux leather, but still. $398 for the small. That's, that's not too bad of a price. It's a cute bag. It, the quality wasn't bad. The leather has a decent thickness. And there I look with the bag itself. Quite cute. I don't think I would actually buy the Avril myself, but I have had, I've heard good things about the outlet version. So I can only imagine the retail version is a lot better. <laughs> and quickly look at the new season's wallets. The inside leather was nice and soft, so hopefully they continue to return to form. And next up is the Jet Set little... Uh, I don't even know what this is. It's like, they call it the, the Jet Set bag, bag charm, but this is not a bag charm, ma'am. This is like a cute little crescent type of bag. It's cute. It works. Yeah, see, they called it a bag charm. I don't know why, but we'll just go with it. Hmm. And the next up is this Michael Kors wallet in the monogramming. Looks like they're going back with these plated logos, which is quite old. Not old, but for those of you longtime Michael Kors fans, y'all know what I mean. The plates are a little... Uh, 
they were used a while ago. And we have the Greenwich crossbody in faux leather and studs. Out of all the Greenwiches, this is probably the worst. I don't really like it. It didn't feel very luxurious. Again, it's not real leather, I don't believe. Like, the inside looks nice, like all the other Greenwiches, but it's just not, it is not for me, like, at all. I did not like this bag. But one Greenwich I did like was the top handle satchel. This is actually kind of sickening. I wish they had it in other leather variations, but that's just a personal choice. I don't really like Saffiano leather myself or cross grain, but I know lots and I don't like literally it's one of the most popular things for Michael Kors. So here's a nice little look at the Greenwich top handle. Comes with its uh, crossbody satchel and you open it up. All of the Greenwich bags have like this uh, outer flap to it. This one is $498 Canadian. There's the flap. It's a cute bag. It's not bad. Again, I just wish there was like more like leather variations and such. Like I don't really like Safiano, but it looks cute with the outfit, so I won't complain. <laughs> It's cute. It's cute. Here we have the Jane large tote bag. The Jane. This is a fairly flimsy tote bag. I'm not going to lie. So like if you don't like those flimsy or like those ones that like to flop around a lot, then you're not going to like this one. But it's it's got the beautiful coated canvas. It's nice to see that they're returning with the waxy finish canvas instead of the really dull, uh, brittle, gross canvas they were using for like a year. So nice to see that they're returning, returning to like better quality. And then here we have this season's Greenwich in, I believe this was the chambray color. Very cute. It's all studded. It's not something I would necessarily buy, but it's definitely a vibe. It is a vibe. Too many studs for my opinion, but it, it's still really cute. And, you know, if that is totally your style, then this is definitely the bag for you. Because uh, even though I'm not gravitating it towards it that much, it looks sickening with this outfit. The denim and everything, like, ma'am, yes. Yes, please. Get a nice little look at some of the Susan tote bags with the uh, square quilting. Got a bag charm on the front that is non-removable. This has like three different pockets, one being a zipper and two being buttons. Just zip it back up and put it back on the rack. It's it's a cute bag, but definitely not for me. And here we're going to get a nice little look at Michael Kors Men. The Men's Collection. Got some crossbody satchel messenger bags here. I really like the zippers on these. They're very edgy looking. Definitely suits the men's collection. <laughs> Got a beautiful blue, navy blue coated canvas. And they have some spring colors as well as pebbled leather. So they got a whole bunch of options for the men's collections. Well, out of like the three handbag styles that they have. <laughs> Packs and just a nice little look at the store itself. And here we got the new 
This is like, what, the Hamilton Legacy uh, bucket bag crossbody thing? I, I'm going to say right off the bat, this is a new style and it's new to the Hamilton line, I believe, but I don't like it. I just don't like it. I feel like it really cheapens the Hamilton look or the whole legacy feel that they were going for. I, it's not something I'm vibing towards currently. Like, my opinion could change, but for now, no. And look at this iconic classic, the Soho in a beautiful cream color. Oh, I wish I could have all the Sohos in all the colors still. I know I have like seven, but ma'am, or, or six or seven, I don't know. But I just, still my favorite handbag of all time. Like it has to be. Get a nice look at the, the uh, Bolero hats for spring. Take a nice little look at the wall here and get a feel for the Michael Kors Soho. Uh, I don't know if... I'm going to have to bring in my Soho and compare the leather and, like, the quality differences because it's really hard to tell when you don't have, like, your Soho with you. <laughs> get a nice look at some of these faux leather handbags. And here we have a, I believe this is a new style. I have not seen this before, but I don't know how I feel about it. I genuinely do not know how I feel about this. This is a weird, like, it. it's cute, but it's not. And this is a, a bag silhouette that is quite, uh, a lot of brands have this exact bag silhouette, so... This is definitely not one of those bags that I necessarily like. They could have done better. And those big chunky MKs on the corners just make it look a little tacky in my opinion. But that's just a personal opinion. I do believe this is one of the Brooklyns. Uh, please don't crucify me if I'm wrong, y'all. Like when I say I have to remember so many handbag names, it's unreal and some of these aren't on the website so it's really hard to like give you the exact name sometimes but it's cute it's a cute bag not my favorite i don't like that canvas that they used but we already know i don't like that cotton based canvas i prefer their polyurethane based and eh, it's just a better canvas in my opinion there is right now and 99 don't believe in you but all you need is just for one person to believe there can be a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred hundred people hundred people a hundred people a hundred people a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred 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 or a thousand nine thousand or 999 there can be a hundred people all righty you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's outfit of the day and shop with me sorry i didn't use a michael kors bag in my outfit of the day i just i really wanted to show you guys my 80s inspired inspired outfit and girl i love it i love it i'm in love anyways if you guys did enjoy today's video please hit the subscribe button if you are new hit the like button share with your friends and family and comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video or outfit of the day and check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video Bye. Uh, I, I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.